On this episode of ESTO, SPGA Tour Latino America, we travel to Mazatlan, Mexico for the Estrella Del Mar Open, the third event of our 2021-22 season. Me encanta estar en Mazatlán, me encanta jugar golf en México. El clima está increíble y vamos a disfrutar. A historic performance by Joaquin Neiman will take us to Riviera Country Club, where the young Chilean won the PGA Tour's Genesis Invitational in wire-to-wire -wire fashion. He deserved it, he earned it. So congratulations. <laughs> Accepting the challenge of answering five fun questions, Argentina's Andres Gallegos will give us a chance to get to know him a little bit better. Esto as PGA Tour Latino America starts now. Esto as PGA Tour Latino America. Following a two-month break, the PGA Tour's up-and-coming stars made it to a very enjoyable and familiar venue on the Mexican Pacific Coast to play the Estrella Del Mar Open. Me encanta estar en Mazatlán, me encanta jugar golf en México. El clima está increíble, el campo está en muy buenas condiciones. Seguramente los greens se van a ir poniendo un poquito más rápidos, un poquito más duros. Hay que aprovechar al máximo todas las oportunidades de verde hay que ser muy sólidos arriba del green y, pero sobre todo disfrutar, yo creo que te paras en el, en el 5 por ahí, ves la vista del mar increíble, respirar, tranquilizarte y disfrutar. This was the fifth playing of this event, one in the past by current PGA Tour members Tyler McCumber and Martin Trainer, and by the Latin duo of Tommy Cocha and Alexander Rocha. Realmente estoy muy contento de haber ganado este torneo, principalmente en México, que considero yo como mi segundo país natal. Así que muchas gracias a todos. The last time this tournament was played, two years ago, Alex Rocha went on to set a PGA Tour Latino America 72-hole record at 29-under. He shattered the old record, set by Agosto Nunez in 2016, by four shots. On the return of this championship to the tour schedule, the 144-man field was led by Total Play Cup leader Jorge Fernandez Valdez of Argentina. Sí, acá contento de estar de vuelta en Estrella de Mar, un lugar impresionante para venir a jugar, a, a quedarse acá y a pasarla bien, obviamente a competir que es nuestro trabajo y, y bueno, pero en un lugar así es mucho más lindo. La cancha está impecable, como siempre, bueno, los greens ruedan muy bien, va a haber viento, va a haber que hacer poco también porque bueno, El nivel y, y el campo exige hacer poco, así que nada, contento de estar de vuelta en, en Mazatán. Making his 95th PGA Tour Latino America career start, coming off a two-shot win at the Argentine Open and a runner-up finish at the Chile Open, Fernandez Valdez was making his return to a place where he had several close calls through the years. He lost a playoff to current PGA Tour player Tyler McCumber at the inaugural Estrella Del Mar Open in 2014 and finished third at the 2021 Mexico Open. I remember that I lost in playoffs with Tyler McCumber. Después, the year passed, I had the opportunity to win. And, well, I think that Álvaro played very well on Sunday. He made nine and he took the win. But, well, I've been close to him and I like the place. I like, as you said, I feel comfortable and I hope to have a good week. Well, I think that Álvaro played very well on Sunday. He made nine and he took the win. In the tournament's opening day, it was Matt Ryan who made an early charge, carding an eagle and seven birdies for a bogey-free 63. Such an effort secured the California native the top spot at the Estrella de Mar Country Club. Yeah, I played solid. Um, I drove it really nicely and hit a couple of really nice long irons and was able to uh, take advantage of a couple of longer holes. There are a lot of short holes out here where you know you're gonna have chances, but when you get the long ones, you're gonna have a good round. So wedged it nice, putted nice. Kind of get nothing, nothing amazing, no hole outs or anything. The 35 year old leader finished the opening round holding a two shot lead over Mexico's Armando Favela and his countryman Joseph Winslow. Trailing by three, there were nine other players tied for the fourth spot, including Mexico's own Aaron Terezas, Emilio Gonzalez, Angel Morales Hernandez, and Jorge Villar. 
Brian came here seeking the confidence he lost during the course of a rough 2020-21 season, in which he lost his Corn Ferry Tour card. Ryan only managed to record five top 25s while making the cut in 15 of 34 starts on PJ Tour sanctioned tours. I mean, for me, it's just attitude. Uh, I've really struggled the last year and a half, so um, I've obviously, I'm obviously, the things that I worked on uh, coming back from the break are working. Um, I just need to make sure my attitude stays where it should be. Uh, play, like, it was funny playing with Ron Serrano. Uh, he's always smiling and always happy, so, you know, that kind of helps when that's what I'm working on. So, just focused on breathing a little more, smiling a little more, and being nicer to myself. Ryan made it to Mazatlan after having back-to-back -back missed cuts in Argentina and Chile to start the new season last December. Having played at Estrella de Mar before, where he claimed runner-up honors at the 2019 PGA Tour Latino America Qualifying Tournament, Ryan felt comfortable at this venue. Scrolling across social media, we have news from the Dev Series, which crowned two champions halfway through March in Mexico and Argentina. Isidro Benitez won the Copa Prisa in Puebla, Mexico, while Felix Cordoba won the San Luis Open in San Luis, Argentina. Well done, guys! March 9th was a big day for tour number one Jorge Fernandez Valdez. The 30-year-old from Cordoba, Argentina, and his wife Martina welcomed their first baby, a girl they named Azalea. She will definitely be a huge source of inspiration for Jorge, who was trying to win the Total Play Cup. After the break, we will return to Mazatlan for more on the race for the Estrella de Mar Open. We will also hear from former tour winner Andres Gallegos, who took some time to answer a fun set of questions. Hola, soy Andres Gallegos, miembro del PGA Tour Latinoamérica, y en esta ocasión voy a responder 10 preguntas rápidas para que me conozcan un poco más. We'll be right back with more on Esto as PGA Tour Latino America. Tour Latino America. A new leader emerged during the second round of the Estrella de Mar Open, with Dallas, Texas native Anthony Paolucci firing a 65 to move ahead by one. Played very solid. Um, it, was, it was windy today, um, but I did a good job of keeping the ball in play, and um, I hit a lot of good knockdown shots to keep the ball low in, in the wind as low as I can hit it, so uh, very pleased with today. At 12 under 36 holes, Paolucci was one shot ahead of five players, Cristobal del Solar of Chile, Armando Favela and Emilio Gonzalez of Mexico, and Joseph Winslow and Matt Ryan of the United States. We have a long way to go, though. It's only halfway, uh, halfway done with the event, so... Um, uh, there's a lot of low scores out there, so uh, I'm going to have to keep making birdies. A late bogey on seven, his 16th hole, prevented Ryan from finishing the second round tied for the lead with Paolucci. Coming off an opening 63, he had to settle for a two under 70 on a day his driving was a bit off. Battling the strong afternoon winds, the 29-year-old Paolucci birdied six of his final nine holes and give himself a chance to battle for his second career title on PGA Tour Latino America. I'm happy to be where I'm at right now, but uh, this tournament's far from over. So I'm sure it's going to be winning the next couple of days. So I'm trying to continue to hit good shots and uh, make some putts. Got to make some putts to win one of these. So almost six years have gone by since Paolucci's lone PGA Tour Latino America victory at the 2016 Abierto del Centro in Cordoba, Argentina. Despite missing the cut at the Argentina Open and the Chile Open for a slow start to the season last December, he came to Mazatlan well-motivated after a memorable holiday season in which he got engaged. 
I got engaged. Um, it's, uh, I haven't been on social media much lately, and so a lot of people don't know, but that's been the big highlight. So I'm very excited to get married in August. So uh, I've just been kind of enjoying life right now. With a tight leaderboard featuring nine players within two shots off the lead, with 36 holes to play, the race for the Estrella de Mar Open was wide open. During a third round in which they fired bogey-free 66s, Armando Favela of Mexico and the opening round leader Matt Ryan made it into a three-way tie for the lead at 17 under. La verdad fue muy bien hoy. Creo que ha sido el, el mejor de los tres días. Eh, Tuve muchas oportunidades, la verdad. Creo que mi único pot largo para par fue en el 7, el par 3. Bandera bastante esquinada, mucho viento. Y fuera de ahí, la verdad, fue una ronda bastante tranquila. Yo creo que tuve como unas 10 oportunidades para verde y metí 6. The 36 hole leader, Anthony Paolucci, kept his chances alive by carding a 67 on Saturday. Going bogey free as well, he joined Favela and Ryan atop the leaderboard. Played uh, very solid. I got off to a nice start making a few birdies early on the front nine. Um, and it was always good when you can go bogey free. The trio of co-leaders was only one shot ahead of Mexico rookie Jorge Villar, who carded a solid 66 to be solo fourth. Only another stroke back, U.S. player Steven Stallings Jr., Mexico's Emilio Gonzalez, and Chile's Cristobal del Solar were tied for fifth. Meanwhile, Ryan, who carded a low of the week 63 in the opening round, remained focused on keeping a good attitude. This round was all about patience. I mean, I the front nine, I was very patient. Um, I've been putting great coming into this tournament, and I, I just haven't felt that great with the putter, but I'm doing a lot of good things mentally and emotionally, and it's, it's paying off as the round goes on, especially today. Hit some great irons early and missed a couple of short ones, but you know, I think my perspective is a little better. Like, that's going to happen, and especially out here when you know you can make a lot of birdies, you just, I've, I've done a good job of not getting frustrated. Heading into the final round of the Estrella de Mar Open, the tournament co-leaders had a combined record of 203 starts and two wins on PGA Tour Latino America. A winner in 2014 in Guatemala, Favela was making his 81st start. Paolucci, who won in 2016 at the Abierto del Centro, was making his 74th appearance. Ryan, who had yet to win on tour, was making his 47th start. Having lost a couple of playoffs in Guadalajara in 2014, and at the Visa Open de Argentina in 2017. This course is just, it's a race to a number. I don't really like to think about numbers because I don't like to be disappointed if I don't get off to a good start. Just stay patient, be nice to myself, have a good attitude. A past PJ Tour Latino America winner, who claimed the Dominican Republic's 2018 Puerto Plata Open for his first professional win, Andres Gallegos is coming off a 2020-21 season in which he finished 10th on the points list to earn conditional status on the Corn Ferry Tour for the second time in his career. A native of Lobos, Argentina, at the age of 26, Gallegos keeps playing on PJ Tour Latino America, waiting for his big break at the next level. Hoping to learn more about his life outside of the ropes, we recently asked Gallegos to answer a fun set of questions for us. Uh, eh, en este momento, la ley es trampa. Liquila, una doctora argentina. Eh, el marginal, cuatro. Rápido y furioso, porque amo los autos. Y los clásicos viejos y los alemanes. Ah, no sé. Era muy chiquito. Eh, después de un poquito más grande sé que quería ser eh, ingeniero agrónomo. Aprenderme todas las canciones. Llegar al PGA Tour. Pasar una Navidad con toda mi familia. Y mmm, otra podría ser llegar a mi mamá a Estados Unidos. Con Severiano Ballestero porque mi papá era, era su ídolo para, para él y me gustaría poder saber más de él porque creo que no pude vivir su mejor momento, entonces creo que por eso. Mi papá, Severino Ballesteros y Sergio García. 
Prefiero ser comensal, pero si me toca cocinar, me gusta hacer todo para parrilla. Perú. Es muy buena la comida. En Argentina se come bien, pero Perú está un escalón más arriba. Bueno, soy Andrés Gallegos y espero que con estas 10 preguntas rápidas me puedan conocer un poquito más. We'll be right back to learn all about the impressive victory by Chile's Joaquin Neiman at the Genesis Invitational, where he claimed his second PGA Tour career title. Sí, obviamente están, está, he roto los récords de score y todo, pero lo que más me importaba durante la semana era poder terminar el domingo y poder, poder estar acá. We will also find out who left Mazatlan as the 2022 Estrella del Mar Open champion. Esto es PJ Tour Latino America. We'll return after this break. Esto es PJ Tour Latino America. Latin American golf had a week to remember at Riviera Country Club in Los Angeles, where Joaquin Neiman won the Genesis Invitational for his second career title on the PGA Tour. This was Neiman's tournament from the start. The 23-year-old from Santiago, Chile, opened with a pair of 63s and set or matched a tournament scoring record of some type each day but the last one. La cancha, el lugar, el clima, Hace todo una combinación muy buena y hace poder disfrutar la semana con una cancha de esta calidad de, y jugar así de bien ayuda harto. At 16 under through 36 holes, and then at 19 under through 54, Neiman kept a record-setting pace at this elite tournament that attracted everyone from the top 10 in the world rankings. He survived a few nervous moments at Riviera on the final day and polished off a big week when he closed with an even par 71 to become the first wire-to-wire -wire winner of the Genesis Invitational since Charlie Sifford did it in 1969. That's 53 years later. About the only thing Neiman missed was a chance to break the longest active tournament scoring record on the PGA Tour. With two bogeys on the back nine, he finished at 19 under 265 one short of the score Lanny Watkins had in 1985. Neiman also became the first 23-year-old winner at Riviera since Phil Rogers in 1962, a tournament in which Jack Nicklaus made his pro debut. Making his 101st PGA Tour start in Los Angeles, this was the second career PGA Tour victory for Neiman who previously won a military tribute at the Greenbrier in 2019. Sí, la verdad que ha sido increíble. Fue un día larguísimo el día de hoy. Y sabía que aún tenía esa ventaja que, que me ayudaba a, a poder ir un poco más tranquilo, pero aún así fue, fue un día súper complicado y súper largo. The young champion staved off several golfers in the victory, including two-time major champion Colin Morikawa, who finished in a tie for second place with Neiman's Sunday playing partner Cameron Young at 17 under for the tournament. Tanta he roto los récords de score y todo, pero lo que más me importaba durante la semana era poder terminar el domingo y poder poder estar acá recibiendo el trofeo, así que eso es lo lo único que estaba pensando. With the tournament being hosted by Tiger Woods, following his performance at Riviera, Neiman had the honor of receiving the tournament trophy from Tiger himself. To lead it from start to finish, uh, not that easy to do. And for him to do it here on this golf course, uh, you can't fake it around this golf course. You have to be able to execute each and every shot correctly. He did that, he proved it, and he, he deserved it, and he earned it. The celebration was on as several of his closest friends on tour Countrymen Mito Pereira, Carlos Ortiz of Mexico, Sebastian Munoz of Colombia, Jonathan Vegas of Venezuela, and Sergio Garcia of Spain were all there to hug him at the end. Entering the final round of the Estrella de Mar Open in a three-way tie for the lead 
Matt Ryan opened with consecutive birdies on holes one and two to move past fellow 54-hole co-leaders Armando Favela and Anthony Paolucci. And he did not look back. He added birdies on five, seven, and eight to make the turn at five under, and then made a huge eagle on 10, a downwind 541 yard par five that the Estrella de Mar Country Club members play as hole one. Although a couple of bogeys on 11 and 14 slowed him down, no one was able to catch him. He birdied 16 and then parred the last two to secure the three shot win. In a week where he began with a tournament low 63, Ryan closed the deal with a strong weekend of back-to-back -back 66s. At 23 under 265, he finished three strokes clear of fellow American Mitchell Meisner and Chile's Cristobal del Solar, who shared runner-up honors after rounds of 65 and 67, respectively. I, I got off to a great start. I drove it on number 10. I think it was like 325 front edge and I drove it and two putted for birdie, then I two putted from the fringe on 11 for birdie and um, I had some good emotions to draw on from years ago. I mean, even though it was a Q school, I shot nine under the final round here in a Q school and I just thought, I th I, like I've been telling you guys all week, I, I felt like I was chasing a number more than playing anyone. Uh, I was prepared for Armando to make everything because it seems like every time I play with him, he's one of the best putters I've ever seen. Anthony's a great player, ball striker, uh, so I was prepared for kind of to get to hole 13 and my goal was to be about six under and um, just go from there. It took him eight years to become a PJ Tour Latino America champion. He made his tour debut on the losing end of a seven man playoff in a tournament in Guadalajara in 2014. At the time, he thought he would win soon, but he didn't. This win at Estrella Del Mar Country Club came on the heels of a frustrating 2020-21 season that saw Ryan lose his Corn Ferry Tour membership. So, yeah, the last couple of years have just been so trying, making it to the Corn Ferry Tour. I missed by one getting full status in 2019, and then when COVID hit, I, 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 sh I would have reshuffled, and then I didn't get in the first few events. So, um, just, I mean, even up till, shoot, Monday in the practice round, or, or Tuesday, I, I went over to Blake Wagner and I just whispered in his ear like, Man, it's been a long time since I've had fun playing golf. As third on the Total Play Cup standings, with nine tournaments left to play this season, Ryan can now set his sights on a return to the Corn Ferry Tour. A ton of thoughts, a ton of feelings. I mean, finished top five on the money list. I have win two events, just got one. So, uh, yeah, a few goals written down. Let's take a look at the Total Play Cups points list following the third of 12 events on the 2021-22 schedule. With Ryan earning 500 points at Estrella Del Mar, he made a strong charge into the third spot. Argentina's Jorge Fernandez Valdez and Alan Wagner, the winners of the first two events, are the only players ahead of him in the race to move up to the Corn Ferry Tour. Fernandez Valdez finished in a tie for 32nd at Estrella Del Mar to remain the Total Play Cup points leader for the third consecutive tournament week. Next time on Esto as PGA Tour Latino America. We travel south for back-to-back -back events in Argentina. The Termas de Rio Hondo Invitational in Santiago del Estero and the Abierto del Centro in Cordoba. Join us next month to find out who wins those two events and who walks away as the winner of the Zurich Argentina Swing. Esto, SPGA Tour Latino America.